Shelley Detani with the Canadian Pharmacists Association. It's Antibiotic Awareness Week this week, and here are four ways that community pharmacists can help against the global problem of antimicrobial resistance. Number one, education. It's cough and cold season right now. Talk to your patients about whether they really need an antibiotic for that cough or cold. Talk to patients about how important it is to finish their entire course of antibiotics that their doctor has prescribed for them. And remember, you can use best practice evidence and guidelines to talk to prescribers and physicians about choosing the right antibiotics for the right patient. Number two, health promotion and prevention. Pharmacists give flu shots, so we're already involved in programs around immunizing against viruses and even some bacteria. Use those opportunities to talk to your patients about the appropriate use of antibiotics and even simple things that patients can do to control and prevent infections, like thorough hand washing. Number three, appropriate prescribing. Did you know that in some provinces, pharmacists can prescribe antibiotics independently? And in many settings, pharmacists work with other healthcare practitioners and have a really direct role in influencing the type of antibiotic that's chosen for a patient. In some pharmacies now, you'll even find point of care strep tests that can be used to guide appropriate antibiotic therapy. Number four, continuing to develop those great relationships you have with the doctors that you work with. Pharmacists can engage with prescribers to help influence or even change some of the antibiotic decisions that they may have made on patients when prescribing. And as we get a more fulsome electronic health record in this country, pharmacists will have even more information to help guide the right decisions towards the right antibiotics. And there you have it, folks. Four things that community pharmacists can do right now to help fight this global health crisis.